wind energy offers the promise of cheap electricity. From this view, a lot of time and money has gone into tapping this resource. But is there a dark cloud hanging over wind energy? Here are some excerpts from the latest summary of the Wind Energy O&M report. These are key findings. They're broken into eight bullet points. Of note are bullet point number two, which shows the O&M cost to be triple the original estimates. Bullet point number five shows the average cost per kilowatt hour to be five times higher than leading manufacturers suggested. And bullet number six shows that many gearboxes are failing after just six years, even though they are designed to last 20 years. Let's drill down to the chart showing downtime per component failure. The top three components most vulnerable are the rotor blades, gearbox, and generator. Oddly, the items most engineering efforts have gone into. Something is not quite right about the front end of these turbines. Let's look at one possible culprit, the gyroscopic effect of spinning rotor blades. We start with a gyroscope spinning on a vertical axis. It is not affected by being swiveled left or right. But what about a spinning mass or gyroscope spinning on a horizontal axis? To look into this, I suspended a bicycle wheel on a support that was articulated and free to move in a variety of directions. It is designed to have the bicycle wheel represent the spinning rotor blades of a conventional wind turbine. In this case, my drill is taking the place of the wind. What we're seeing here is an oddity of gyroscopes spinning on a horizontal plane. They balk at being redirected either left or right much the way the nacelle of a wind turbine rotates when being forced into the wind. Speaking of wind, we're going to spin this up one more time. Note again how the spinning mass forces the horizontal axis out of its normal plane. Could this effect be the cause of the high failure rate of rotor blades, gearboxes, and generators? If only there was some alternative that rotated on a vertical axis, 